testing the range of motion of the wrist. It's very important that we begin in the anatomical position, okay? So the anatomical position is where our client is facing towards us. The palms of the hands are facing towards us. This is our starting point, right? From here, to flex the wrist, all I'm gonna ask my client to do is bring your fingertips up towards you as far as you can, bending at the wrist. Any pain there at all, no? And then again, to that anatomical position to extend the wrist, Bring your fingertips away from you. That's it. Trying to have your palms, your palms facing the floor. Any pain there at all? No. Fantastic. And relax. So I'm going to do that passively. Again, we're starting in this anatomical position so there's no confusion. So this is flexion here. And this is extension right here. Any pain there at all? No. We do not test this resisted. Okay. Next, we have abduction and adduction. Again, in that anatomical position, so that again, there's no confusion. From here, for abduction, we're gonna bring the thumbs up towards your shoulders for me. That's it, keeping your palms facing me. Any pain at all? No. And then back to that anatomical position. Again, keeping your palms facing towards me, I want you to try to move your uh, pinky finger towards your thighs. That's it, any pain there at all? No, fantastic. And I'm gonna do this passively, but then we don't do resisted. So abduction, all I'm gonna do is slightly tilt the client's wrist there. Any pain there at all? No, and then bring it the other way. Again, keeping that palm facing forward. Any pain there at all? No, no fantastic, and relax.